Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful and cool morning. Micah's down there. And uh, we're out here today, hoping to find some snakes here in North Georgia, up on this awesome ridge top. The last couple of outings have been really productive, so I'm really hoping that today will be good. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit cooler, which I think is gonna be a good thing because of how warm it's been recently. Uh, it's definitely been a little bit too warm with the sun and all. But it looks like we're going to have some awesome cloud cover today. So I'm going to get after it and hopefully we'll be able to turn up some snakes. This area we're in today is normally super consistent in the springtime. Um, a little later in the, in the spring at least. Uh, so we might be a little early today, but we're going to see. Mostly looking at walking around, checking stuff like this. Looking for snakes basking and flipping bark. So we're going to keep at it. got a little bit of sun coming through now it's starting to feel really nice as long as it isn't too much sun so haven't seen anything yet we haven't been out here too long at this point but it's definitely starting to feel really good if we're gonna see anything I'd expect it to happen soon all right guys just flipped our first snake of the day under a rock a little worm snake I'm gonna grab him real quick this little guy is looking a lot better than a lot of the worm snakes we've seen so far this year. This guy's nice and healthy, doesn't need a shed. I might actually take a picture of him. Really good looking little snake. Gotta love the iridescence on these guys. A lot like a king snake, but obviously smaller and less attractive, but these guys can be really good looking snakes when they're freshly shed. Look at that little head. Perfectly adapted for burying and wedging yourself under tiny rocks. Alrighty, we're gonna put this guy back under his rock. First snake of the day. Hopefully this is a good sign that the Scarlet Kings and Corns and all the other cool stuff will be out too. So we'll let him go and keep moving. Alright guys, this is pretty cool. I just flipped an old clutch of racer eggs. You can tell these are racers because they have that granular texture to them. But those eggs have hatched and are hopefully out there thriving today but just under that tiny rock a whole nest of racer eggs pretty cool well we've been kind of having a hard time today it's just the one worm snake so far but uh we've kind of switched up our strategy and we're walking a burn lots of nice open stump holes like this getting a lot of sun you can see around them pretty well so we're checking this stuff out right now and hopefully we'll be able to see some stuff out basking uh, but if not it might end up being a slow day just rolled this log and turned up this guy. This is a little eastern fence lizard, covered in dirt. He survived this controlled burn recently and uh, getting ready for spring, it looks like. Pretty cool. We've been seeing more and more of these guys recently, which means that uh, the weather is just getting better and better. But look at that blue. Beautiful. Really cool looking little lizard. Good morning, everyone. It's been a pretty good and productive week so far, but yesterday was slow. And uh, I'm out here with Richard today, flipping some tin, trying to end the week strong, but given how slow yesterday was, not too, uh, I don't have very high expectations, but if we do end up seeing some snakes, that will be awesome. And if we don't, you probably won't see this. I mean, that could work. Well, let's see if there's anybody today. There's one, I see his tail, brown snake. This is actually the piece that I flipped one under earlier in January. Where'd he go? I lost him. Oh, right there. Yep, so first snake of the day, little brown snake under this tin. It also almost looks like he's on the crawl under here. Mm -hmm. But I, I double flipped this last time I was here and I didn't see anything the first time. And then the second time there was a brown snake and he went down one of these holes. Obviously. <laughs> So we didn't even see this guy, but there are two brown snakes under here. We're gonna let this marinate, and maybe as the day warms up, there'll be more under here later. Richard said he flipped five under this piece a couple weeks ago, so. This guy's doing a nice little threat display. <laughs> yeah, he's puffing up and striking at me. All right, we're gonna put these guys back and keep flipping. <laughs> yeah, it might as well be a can, right? Not long ago. Yep. That's looking good as always. 
with no snake. Next flip of the day. Two nice red back salamanders. That one's pretty big. These guys are probably gonna disappear soon though, because when it starts warming up, they peace out. They're definitely more of a late winter, early spring thing. So this might end up being one of the last looks you guys get at these for a couple months. Oh, snake, spring neck. Very nice. First one of those here this year for me. Cool. All right, guys, Tristan just flipped another ring neck. It's another tiny one about the same size as the first, but we'll put him back under his little piece of tin. It's about the time of year where these guys are absolutely everywhere, so I would expect plenty more over the next couple weeks. All right, guys, I just spotted our first North Georgia King snake of the year right there coming out of his hole. I'm going to try to get an NC2 photo, then we'll grab him. Guys, look at that. Out here, and Noah just spotted our first snake of the day. This is a large, big, and beautiful eastern king snake here in C2. I don't think he even sees us. Stump hole. I'm gonna grab him. <sighs> look at that. He's actually chilling so far. That's a beautiful snake, dude. All right, guys, I have grabbed this beautiful Eastern King Snake, the first one of the year in North Georgia, and we could not have asked for a better one. Absolutely incredible. This snake, relatively certain it had just come out for the first time this year based on how cold to the touch it was. Um, it was just like starting to get ready to bask for the day, I think, and we're gonna let it back to doing just that after a few photos, but absolutely incredible. The first of hopefully many to come this year. This is a large female Eastern King Snake. Females are smaller than the boys, but this is a very good sized snake. So, what a beautiful snake. First North Georgia King Snake of the Year and second one for 2021. Third capture, but we got the same one twice earlier in the year. Just so you can see how big this snake is next to my foot. Not huge, but it is pretty good size for a female Eastern King. And definitely a welcome sight because a lot of times this early in the year you get smaller ones. But this is a healthy, full grown adult female. So, alright, this girl is sitting perfectly for photos. So, we're just going to snap a few shots of this beautiful Eastern King Snake and uh, let her go back to her basking. Could not have asked for a more perfect individual to start the year in North Georgia. Such a cooperative and beautiful snake. This snake has real thin bands on the top, and that's generally a characteristic of Eastern Kings that have a little bit of Eastern Black King Snake influence. But then you can see she's got these really nice, beautiful, thick, speckled uh, bands on the side. All around, really interesting looking snake. Super happy with this. We're gonna let her go and keep hiking, see what else can turn up. Maybe we'll get another one. Alrighty. Let's put this beautiful animal back where we found her. I took a picture of a bird the other day that had a chick on its ear, so they on its face. Let's see if she knows where she's going. I think she does. A good sized snake. gonna go up Richard's pant leg. She's actually gonna go up Richard's pant leg. <laughs> Just chilling. Well, that was amazing. We're gonna keep at it. Flip a little more tin, make a little more habitat. Nobody under there. Hopefully that won't be the last thing we see today. All right, guys, next find of the day, I just flipped a nice big red salamander under this tire. Pretty good looking one. 
He's a little bit dark in the middle, but he's got nice big spots. And there's this guy hanging out, but nice big red salamander. All right, we just flipped another red salamander in the seepage. Nice big one. That's a really actually kind of cool looking one. Nice. All right, guys, Tristan just flipped this piece of tin for the second time today, and no ring neck the first time. And now, nice ring neck. Goes to show that double flipping can be kind of. I wonder if he was in this lip in the tin. I bet so. Very nice. That's actually like an adult one too. The first two we found were tiny boys. There's a nice pair of redback salamanders. Nice lead phase and then a typical redback. Really nice looking guy. Tristan just spotted our next snake of the day. Nice adult black racer stretched out right there. I think this is one of the first ones of these I've showed you guys this year. It's been a kind of slow start for him. Not gonna mess with him too much, just gonna leave him out on the crawl here and keep on hiking and we'll see if we can find anything else. Good looking little racer. Anyways, like Tristan said, we're just gonna leave this guy alone. Whoa, whoa, that was yeah. impressive. Into going. <laughs> the way the head. Look at that. going buddy all righty we'll leave you alone that's a big one too Holy how did we miss that? he's been hanging out this whole time i guess yeah, he has been. there was another one right there that went in a hole but big rat snake well always nice to see a big rat snake this guy's content to just chill in this tree so i think we're gonna leave him right there awesome All right, guys, and right there we have a Midland water snake basking in the rocks by the lake. First one of these we've seen today. This guy seems pretty content where he's at, so we're just gonna leave him right there too. But we got the water snake there. And then over here, we got the rat snake. All right guys, we're down here by the river now and I just peeled back this little piece of erosion tarp and our third brown snake of the day. I think this is our 10th snake of the day, but nice to see. We're just gonna leave him there. All right guys, we got our next snake of the day and a nice little skink here I flipped, but there is a rat snake down there. Second rat snake of the day, just basking. All right, guys, here's a look at this rat snake from the other side. He's completely chilling. He does have a bad eye on this side, but hopefully that'll clear up when he sheds. But second rat snake of the day, and I think this is snake number 11 for the day. We've been doing really good today. It's been a blast. So we're gonna get a couple quick photos of this guy and keep looking around this rocky habitat and see if there's any rattlesnakes hanging out. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to round out this video with a little bit of salamandering. Richard had to dip, so. We're over here looking for spring salamanders in this nice little creek. And if we see one, that'll be a great way to end the video. If we don't, it's not the end of the world, but we're gonna try for a little bit. Well, our spring salamander hunt was largely unsuccessful, but we did find this beautiful spotted salamander, tons of big spots for around here. Slimy salamander, we found this big, beautiful slimy salamander. Anyways, really cool looking northern slimy salamander. High white, and he's big too but that's probably gonna be the last herp of the day unless we see something on the way back to the car. And really big as well, you can see it in my hand here, so. Uh... All right, everyone, I am back home. It has been an incredible day, mostly highlighted by that amazing king snake this morning. It was a really solid day all around. Got to hang out with some friends, got to see some amazing snakes, and got to see some pretty cool salamanders too. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I'm going to be incredibly busy the next two weeks, so, um. I might not be uploading that much, but I definitely will be filming every day for the next two weeks straight, basically. So you guys will have a lot of videos to look forward to, even if they aren't coming at you particularly soon. It might be two weeks or so before I get back into regular uploads. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Spring is finally here, and there is some exciting stuff coming your way soon.